today on Your News at Six, a Benedict College student shot on campus. We'll tell you what happened and why did it happen. And then school bus accidents involving a truck and some parents on edge. And the bus driver of the bus is being charged. And then the famous Hard Rock Park in Myrtle Beach is filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy but is planning to reopen next year. All that and more next on WJTW News Channel 11. Now, the news channel covering all the Riverbank region, WJTW News Channel 11, starts right now. Hello, I'm Jimmy Smell, and thanks for playing WJTW News Channel 11. Starting off with some Western District 2 students had a bit of a scare Thursday afternoon. The bus was rear-ended by a dump truck on Highway 321 near the Silver Lake Mobile Park. Sixteen Pine Ridge Middle School students were on board. Eleven of them were taken to the Lexington Medical Center for minor injuries. Lance Corporal Joseph Robinson with Highway Patrol said that the dump truck, truck driver was charged with driving too fast for conditions. Crime was on the rise in South Carolina. Violent crime had gone down around the nation, but it is on the rise in South Carolina. The FBI says there were 34,736 violent crimes reported in 2007, and up 1,658% 1, 1, since 2006. It's settled time for the historical urban orphans on strut. Chairman Kurt Luther is expected a is expecting a good time. Earlier today, earlier Thursday afternoon, the park lot parking lot was filled with cars and workers were working on the big concert stage. We'll be back in about thirty minutes, so stay tuned to WHW News Channel Left. Broadcast television, even bigger than the change to color. On February 17, 2009, television goes all digital. But without an upgrade, some TVs will stop working. Find out what you need to do. Call this number or visit DTVAnswers.com to see how you can get free over-the-air digital TV with better picture, better sound, and more channels. See what you're missing. Make sure your TV is DTV. You're watching WJTW News Channel 11. Okay, I'm back. Some business news on the deal with the Rocky economy. That's today on our stopwatch. If you've been following the Wall Street, what was closely you likely heard journalism, political, and business leaders likely alike make reference to what, how what's happening there and affect Main Street USA. Columbia Grant Rob Robertson knows just how how hard it is to get a business up and running in a, in a shaky economy. The 24-year-old open the 24-year-old opened a five-point Photoshop back in May, but not without some hesitation. Also, uh, also, the economy is affecting other parts of the state. A possible solution to Atlantic Beach financial crisis has not yet has not yet been found. The the town council refused to vote on several proposals, and the interim town manager Charles Williams says were necessary to keep the community running through 2008. It's unclear what the town will do next. Staying on the topic of the economy, a famous theme park in Myrtle Beach is filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. A company spokesman says the owner of the Hard Rock theme park that opened in Myrtle Beach early this year has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection. Park spokesman Jim Ocklick says the $400 million park is closed but was planned to reopen in 2009. Now in your local news, an overnight shooting at a Benedict College sent one person to the hospital. County police said a male student was shot in the leg 7 p.m. Thursday night. The shooting happened in the basement of the Gambrel Hall. 
two drug buses in Richmond County helped by community tip. Crystal meth, cash, and heavy firepower is all part of the two drug buses earlier this week. Richmond County Sheriff Leon Lott says, This is not your little nickel and dime dealer that are on the street corners. These are big time dealers. On Tuesday, Richmond County narcotic agents got a tip and went out and went to an apartment complex on Sparkerberry Lane. The tip paid off. Agents said the found the found crystal meth was worth more than two hundred and sixty five thousand dollars. A Columbia man in connection with a Philadelphia murder. The murder of a police officer in Philly has been tracked back here into Columbia. Investigators with a with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearm arrested Jason Mack of Columbia two days ago. Mack is accused of supplying the guns that was used in the execution style murder of a Philadelphia officer. Now for your decisional aid. <laughs> The Bush administration and Congress authorized revivit negotiations Friday on a $700 billion finance bailout. One day after, the largest bank collapse in the, in the U.S. history provided a brutal reminder of the risk of failure. In the national polls, Obama leads by 49% and McCain is at 45% with a 6% of uncertainty. Now for your weather. Thanks for watching WJTW News Channel 11. Visit our website on youtube.com slash draw15 and our next newscast is Wednesday at 6 for News Brief. Thank you and good night. You're watching WJTW News Channel 11.